Hello there. In this video, we'll look at forecasting using simple linear regression. This question corresponds to problem 4.35 in your text. So here we have John Howard, a real estate developer, has devised a regression model to help determine residential housing prices in Southern Ontario. The model was based using recent sales in, in a particular neighborhood, where we have the price, Y, based on the size of the house, or square footage denoted by X. So the regression model is Y equals 13,473 plus 37.65X, and 37.65 basically per square foot. We're also told that the coefficient of correlation, also known as the correlation coefficient, is 0 0.63, and that is actually R, or R depending on whether you have a texture source that uses a big R or small R. So we have four requirements for this question. The first is to use the model to predict the selling price of a house that's 1,860 square feet. Well, to do that, all we do is substitute into the equation. So we'll look at this and say this is y equals 13,473 plus 37.65 times 1,860 square feet. And that should result in a house price of 83,000 502. Now requirement B, we're told that an 1860 square foot recently sold for 95,000 and explain why that's not what the model predicted. Well, the predicted model that John Howard created is based only in one thing, square feet. And it's likely that the square footage or size of a house is not the only factor to determine what a house should sell at, which means there could be other additional factors. Which takes us to requirement three that says if you're going to use multiple regression to develop such a model, what other quantitative variables might you use? This is related to the discussion of why this house sold more than projected. There must be something else, perhaps such as number of bedrooms, does it have a den, number of bathrooms, does it have a finished basement, lot size, garage size, etc. There are many, many other factors that can be added to create a more robust model to provide a more accurate projection of house price. And now this takes us to the last requirement. What is the coefficient of determination for this problem? Well, the coefficient of determination is known as r squared, or just small r squared, it doesn't matter. And if we know from the data provided that r is 0 0.63, then r squared must be 0 0.397. Now, what does coefficient of determination mean? Or what does correlation coefficient mean? Well, first of all, let's just talk for one second about correlation coefficient. A correlation coefficient of 0 0.63 indicates that there's a positive relationship between house price and the number of square feet. And that the model may look something like this. That it's positive means it's, po it's upward sloping. And remember that R ranges between negative one and positive one, indicating either perfect negative or perfect positive correlation. Here, R is 0.63, so it's not perfectly positive correlation, but it's fairly strong. Now, what R squared means is that this tells us that approximately 39.7% of the change in house price can be explained by the change in square footage or size of the house. Now that may not seem like a lot, 39.7%, but if you think about it, that one particular variable, in this case, square footage of a house, can explain close to 40% of the house price is actually fairly significant. If we were to then add additional factors like number of bedrooms, den, bathrooms, etc., what would happen is the R squared would increase to create a more robust and more accurate model. And that's it for this question on simple linear regression.